You ever wonder what kind of hay you should be feeding your rabbits? That's what we're going to discuss in today's video. Hey guys, welcome back to another Slightly Redneck video. Again, my name's Chris. If you're not familiar with this channel, I help you to produce your own meat, eggs, and vegetables from your backyard, your balcony, your deck, your garage, or heck, even a spare room in your house if that's the way you want to do it. I've gotten a couple of questions recently about what type of hay should you be feeding to your rabbits. Now, before I get into this, let me just say that there are all types of hay out there. Uh, there's orchard grass hay, there's hay that you just you know mow the yard and, and collect that stuff up. But the two most common types you're probably going to run into if you're buying your hay from a big box store or a farm supply store or you know, like a feed store, something like that, is going to be Timothy hay and alfalfa hay. Those are the two most common types. Now, I'm also going to approach this video assuming that you're feeding your rabbits rabbit pellets, like a commercial rabbit pellet. If you're feeding them an all-natural diet with, uh, you know, um, uh, with forage that you're collecting or maybe you're growing fodder for them or something like that, some of these things may not apply to that. But assuming that you're feeding your rabbits a commercial rabbit pellet, keep in mind those are primarily made of alfalfa. There's nothing wrong with alfalfa. It's very high in protein. It's very high in calcium. But because it's very high in calcium, um, it, it, you don't want to overload your rabbits with alfalfa. So it's probably best to go with something like a Timothy hay. The only, and if you've got alfalfa hay, it's okay. Go ahead and feed it to your rabbits. Just try to switch over maybe at some point in the future. The only reason you don't necessarily want to feed alfalfa hay to your rabbits, it's not anything necessarily bad for them, but because it is so high in calcium, uh, rabbits actually metabolize calcium a little bit different than other animals do. They're very efficient at metabolizing it, and they expel extra calcium through their urine. That's why you may notice it kind of looks kind of milky sometimes. It's the extra calcium in their body that they're expelling. And if they get too much calcium, they can develop um, uh, blockages in their urinary tract. They can develop urinary tract infections because the calcium builds up in their urinary tract. So it's probably best to not go overboard with the calcium with your rabbits. And for that reason alone, if you're feeding a pellet that's primarily alfalfa, you should probably be feeding like a Timothy hay or an orchard grass hay or something besides alfalfa hay. Hopefully that kind of makes sense. Now, as far as how much hay to feed your rabbits, you know, that varies widely on what you want to do. I pretty much try to keep the hay feeders full all the time. If it runs out for a couple of days, it's not that big of a deal. Uh, but, you know, I do like to give them hay. They do enjoy eating that. They like the long fiber. It's good for their digestive system. Uh, but again, they can go days, weeks, or even a month or so without hay. It's not going to hurt them. They're going to be just fine. So don't stress about making sure they have hay all the time. It's not that big of a deal. All right, so pretty quick video, just a, a short topic to address, easy to address. Uh, bring you guys in close, let you see the baby bunnies. They are about uh, two and a half weeks old right now, getting in and out of the nest box all on their own. And uh, let's just bring the camera in close, let you get a shot of them. Okay, right now they are snoozing. I've got, uh, let's see if I can turn the nest box around here, we'll get a better shot of them. I've got uh, mama bunny here is a little bit protective and a little bit nervous when I get in the cage and start you know, messing with things. Oh. She uh, she might get a little bit grumpy with us here, but there we go. Got one, uh, well, let's see, got seven little baby bunnies here. Ugh, let me get the cage turned around. The nest box is catching on the bottom of the cage. There we go. And uh, one of these guys is a runt. Pull him out, let's see. Way tinier than the rest of these babies. <laughs> But uh, they're, they're all doing pretty good, seven of them. All look healthy. They're getting in and out of the nest box, running around, won't be long. Another couple of days, they'll start eating feed and uh, then we'll start going through the feed a whole lot quicker. All right, so like I said, pretty easy topic to address today. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. As always, God bless.